Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Vital Metals Managing Director Jeff Atkins. How are you today, Jeff? Very well, thanks Tracy. Thanks for having me on. Of course, everybody is looking at Investor Intel and asking us about critical materials. And of course, Vital Metals is one of the leading players in the market presently in this race. Can you give us kind of an overview of what's happening right now? Well, from our perspective, it's uh, it's ex extremely busy in that we are moving full steam ahead towards um, getting into production at our Mitchell Archo project uh, in 2021. Okay, and of course, I see you have incredible volume. I just, I'm going to sidestep. I don't usually ask companies this, but you have the largest volume of any critical materials company in the world, period. I know. We, we follow them all from graphite to lithium. Can I ask you why and who's working for you? How does this happen? Well, I think there's a couple of things there. Obviously, our uh, share price is, uh, is quite low, so it makes it a lot easier for for volume uh, there. But the key thing I think is that uh, we are the um, the closest to production in the rare earths, particularly in the rare earths space. So that in itself drives a lot of a lot of interest. Um, I think the last thing is probably the fact that uh, we are a new company in critical minerals, um, having only purchased the, uh, the private company Cheetah 12 months ago. Um, so that in itself means that for people who are interested in critical minerals, there's a lot of requirement to purchase or a lot of demand to actually purchase stock to get into to, to get into us. And of course, ASX listed. I think a lot of our audience out there is very familiar with Avalon, very familiar with the Avalon Advanced Materials Cheetah deal. And now you know the person now driving that particular machinery, if I have this correct, is Vital Metals. Is that correct? That's correct. So um, Cheetah, Cheetah purchased the Nicholacho asset off Avalon and then last year Vital purchased 100% of Cheetah. And of course you've just put out an announcement on your quarterly activities and cash flow report so those of you out there who are sophisticated followers of the rare earth and critical material sector probably noticed that in this there was an a uh, a uh, highlight about your binding term sheet with the Saskatchewan Research Council, and, you're, and they're trying to follow, of course, how the ASX companies got a binding term agreement with the uh, SRC. So if you wouldn't mind taking us through that and also hitting on what were some rather substantial updates in that update. Thank you. Yes. So, look, it's a very exciting time for us, and this is really uh, – it's critical for us to be able to – the transaction with uh, – with SRC it was critical for us to be able to achieve our production targets. Um, the Saskatchewan Research Council has a lot of experience in rare earths and uh, we have agreed with them that they will uh, build and operate a rare earth extraction plant for us. So they will take the mineral concentrate which we produce at, net, on the, at the Natural Art Show site and from that we'll produce a rare earth carbonate product which we will then uh, sell to separation facilities. There is a lot of discussion about supply chain issues and an understanding overall in the markets, led in part by Jack Lifton. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about how Vital Metals plays a role in the supply chain for the new investor in this sector? The key area where we are able to impact the rare earth supply chain is that we are on track to being the next producer of rare earths. So naturally, um, a growth of a rare earth supply chain, particularly outside of China, which will need new supply, we're obviously a, um, a critical part of that. And of course, you know, you also recently announced that you had raised uh, $8 million to progress towards uh, commencing processing operations. Is there, a high, is there an update you'd like to add on that since our last discussion? Look, that's, uh, it was a fantastic uh, achievement um, to, to raise that $8, $8 million. It was substantially oversubscribed, uh, which really does highlight their level of interest in rare earths at the moment. And that money allows us to progress our activities uh, on, both on site and also to finalise our, uh, our, it certainly gives a lot of 
uh, confidence to our customers, to uh, to governments that we are real and that we are moving forward on on track to commence operations. And many people out there may or may not be aware of the fact that you have numerous competitive advantages, including a very sophisticated management team with actual experience in operations in rare earths. You recently announced uh, James Henderson uh, joined as a non-executive director. Would you like to comment on that? Yes. So I first met James in 2007 um, when he, uh, he was responsible for some of the initial funding, actually, with Linus. And he raised about seventy-five million dollars in Linus back in yeah, back when I started there. That was two thousand and seven. So I've known James for a long time, and he has a lot of experience in in the rare earth market. He has a lot of experience in moving projects and companies from uh, inception through to operations. And uh, it was James and myself who uh, who actually started. Uh, Cheetah Resources back in 2016. So, have a lot of uh, a lot of history with him, um, and uh, respect his his abilities and his capabilities. And he'll bring a lot of value to uh, to the Vital Metals Board. So when we first uh, did our last interview, we were discussing, too, that you had a bit of an M&A strategy and that you would be searching the world, basically, for some of the best rare earth projects. Are there going to be any updates on that here shortly, or are you planning on just pushing through with what you have presently to production? Can you share that with us? Oh, look, right now our focus is really on getting the uh, the Netchelatro project up and running. Um, that. That has to be our, our focus. It's uh, it's hard enough to develop one of these projects uh, by itself without um, uh, yeah looking at it, casting your your, uh, your eye wide and looking at other at, at anything else. So no, our our focus really is at this stage on Netchalacho. Well, I mean, for those of you out there that may not appreciate how difficult it is to get a rare earth project up and running, how many have we had in the last decade get up and running? Um, one. Yes, exactly. So all eyes are on Jeff Atkins, the Vital Metals team. And uh, thank you so much for, for the update. We hope that you will do these regularly so we can watch you uh, get Vital Metals into production. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks very much, Tracy, and anytime. Okay, Jeff.